assalamu alaikum i am mirza suhib again you watching my channel and uh, today i am going to explain the chapter number 10 and the chapter name is kingdom animalia so uh, these are the some most important uh, objectives related to this uh, uh, very uh, lengthy chapter uh, that is uh, chapter number 10 and uh, fsc pre, pre medical part 1 inter part 1 so let's start with the name of al almighty bismillahir rahmanir rahim uh, what is the first mcq uh, the first mcq the animalia uh, the word animalia is uh, derived from a uh, Latin word um, and means uh, life, uh, breathe, soul, both A and B. So the right answer is the both A and B uh, because it means uh, also mean, uh, uh, sorry, uh, it means breathe, breathe and soul. So right answer is B and C, not A and B. So uh, this one uh, is the wrong option, uh, D. So D, B and C, uh, breathe and soul. Uh, or right answer. These are there are the blank phyla belongs to a kingdom animalia and its group uh, Umetazo. So there are almost 29 uh, phyla belong to this uh, kingdom animalia. So option D is the right answer. The animals which have false silom belong to group A silomates uh, without silom hai, or silomates may have proper silom with other pseudo silomate. He right answer hai. So option B is the right answer. False body cavity is present in pseudo silomates uh, phylum nimaruda. So the next one is all the animals in great bilateria are triple blastic because uh, uh, they uh, they have the bilateral symmetry and uh, three uh, different uh, uh, layers. Uh, the first one is ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm. So due to the presence of three layers, this is called as a triploblastic organism. The type of symmetry in which any plane of Ferdinand passing through a central axis and divides the, in, uh, divides the animal into the halves that are mirror images to each other. So uh, from any angle, so that's why this is called radial symmetry. Uh, but from a single angle, this is called as a bilateral symmetry. So right answer is radial symmetry. So radial symmetry is the right answer. The next one is the simplest uh, of uh, animals uh, uh, belongs to subkingdom Parazoa, present in phylum. Uh, Parasoa is asymmetrical or this phylum Porifera is a member of asymmetrical or simplest most time Porifera which is the same so option D is the right answer uh, blank animal phyla show radial symmetry uh, single animal phyla which is uh, cylindrate or nidarians nidarians are covered here so option A is the right answer cylindrate which is hydra, jellyfish, sea and moon animals belong to uh, phylum blank are asymmetrical uh, so Porifera again we repeat that Porifera is asymmetrical Silom farmed by the spreading of mesoderm uh, I guess Silom Joham Mizodum key spreading seven uh, by the uh, breakdown of the Mizodum or Mizodum do layers may divide Ojo to SC layers SC Silom from Shizo Silas Silom both and Shizo means splitting or entero Silas or Dejo out poaching of Gert seven PS so option A is the right answer for this MCQ number nine. Animals in which blastopore is developed into mouth, uh, these are called protostome and also are proterostomes. Uh, uh, both words are same, so that's why option D is the right answer. Uh, both A and B, because both of them are the last two courses of mouth, when the pituitary stomach is the so option D is the right answer. The next one is MC number 11. In animals, the reproductive system developed from mesoderm, very simple. Mesoderm is the security system developed, the digestive system is developed. During development in animals, mesoderm layer gives rise to, uh, it gives rise to muscular and skeletal system. Uh, nervous system is the epidermis, right? Uh, the uh, elementary canal is the endodermal region. Se, so, uh, when we talk about the so muscular skeletal system, jo hai, option B is the right answer. In most forms, the outer layer of wall is made up of cell guard. Uh, Pinacrocytes are the outermost layer. Hai. Uh, uh, wall is made up of cells. If we talk about cells, then pinacrocytes. When there is a layer, then we will call it pinacrodum. So option D is the right answer, pinacrocytes. The pores by which water enters into the body of sponge, uh, ostia. Uh, leave out karta hai wo osculum se or enter hota hai ostia se. So option B is the right answer for MCQ number 14. Next one, the pore by which the water leaves the body of spawns. Uh, this pore is called osculum. Option A for M uh, right uh, for MCQ number 14. Example of beauty and the delicate spawns called Venus flower basket is uh, very easy. Euplectilla. Option C is the right answer. It's a Venus flower basket. We both the animal that only exists in a polyform hydra. He wo animal that polyform exists, but the rest of the form and the poly form is in both forms. The excretory uh, system of flat worms is composed of, uh, it is composed of uh, excretory system, but the name is nephridia. But nephridia, what is the name of the flame cells? So option C is the right 
uh, one for this MCU. Liver fluke and tape bombs belong to phylum. Uh, flat worms, hai, so definitely platea and menthes in long current. Option B is the right answer. Schistosome is commonly called blood fluke. Um, liver fluke, jo hai, uh, usse hum, uh, jo hai wo, a liver fluke, alike hai, or a tape bomb, jo hai, tinea solium. Uh, uh, planaria, judicia, judicia, or blood flu ke liye jo shistosoma, shistosoma. So right answer is the schistosoma. Uh, so option D is the right answer. Is caries lumbicoid is an intestinal parasite of man? Definitely. Uh, ye, uh, commonly jo hai wo round worms ke hai, aur man ke hi intestine mein rehte hai. Common name for encyclostoma duodenal. Uh, hookworm jo hai, uska sign, uh, common name. Uh, jo hai, encyclostoma duodenal jo hai, wo form, uh, hai, or metamerically segmented animals uh, belongs to. Uh, these are belong to Anilida. Uh, Atom dekh lein, aap, uh, leech dekh lein, aur uske lawa neris dekh lein, uh, to wo sare Anilids se belong karte hain, metamerically segmented hote hain. The second largest phylum of uh, invertebrate is again mollusca. Uh, mollusca jo hai, wo soft bodied animal hai. Largest jo hai, wo Arthropod hai, or first largest hai, or second largest hai, hai. So option B is the right answer. A resping tongue like Redula provide with horny teeth in mouth cavity of my, many uh, many organisms. Uh, so this one is belong to resping tongue. So Redula hoti hai, wo uh, character hai khas tor mollusca. So option A is the right answer. In mollusca, blue color respiratory pigment. Uh, hemoglobin nahi ho sakta, hemorrhythrin B nahi ho sakta, ki red se hemocyanin jo hai, wo blue color pigment hai. Or prothrombin basically uh, blood clotting factor. So right answer is option C. Hemocyanin is the right answer for this MCQ. The largest invertebrate animal is uh, squid. Uh, giant squid is the largest uh, invertebrate animal. And the XCD organ in, uh, is, uh, in phylum arthropoda is uh arthropoda phylum hai usme axillary organ malpigian tubules hoti hai hepatitis and cholera is spread by house fly the phylum which is exclusively marine simply echinoderms are exclusively marine sirf aur sirf marine water mein hote hai by pinaria aur by bacteria bhi echinoderms hi rakhte hai cyclostomata include most primitive living vertebrates which were without uh, they are without any jaws. In the jaws, they are not in primitive fishes and sectorial fishes. So that's why option B is the right answer. The cartilaginous fishes contain scales. Uh, cartilaginous uh, uh, ये बाकी तीनों जो है साइक्लोइड टीनोइड और गिनोइड ये बोनी फिशेस के स्केल्स हैं जबकि ये जो प्लेट लाइक स्केल्स हैं जिन्हें प्लेकोइड स्केल्स बोलते हैं ये सिर्फ और सिर्फ कार्टेजिनस के शार्क्स वगैरह बोलते हैं कॉन्ट्रिक्सीज में उनमें एग्जिस्ट करते हैं कमर्शियली शार्क लीवर ऑयल इज एक्सट्रैक्ट एंड इज यूज्ड इन मेडिसिन अ सोर्स ऑफ विटामिन ए एंड विटामिन डी स्पिनोडोन इज फाउंड इन स्पिनोडोन पंक्टेटस जो है वो ओनली लिविंग रेप्टाइल है जो कि खास तौर पे uh, proper New Zealand mein hota hai, duniya mein kisi aur country mein nahi hota, to ye aa jata hai. Earliest fossil bird is uh, Arcteryx, ancient bird Berlin, uh, uh, jo hai wo uh, Bavaria, jo state hai uh, Germany ki waan se discover hua tha, almost 150 million years ago, iski age bhoot pata hai jati hai, so option C is the right answer. Serings, serings is the voice box uh, in case of birds, uh, because uh, in mammals, uh, the voice box is called as a larynx. Mammals will become dominant in which period? Uh, these are dominant in Cenozoic period. So Cenozoic, uh, uh, this one is the most recent era, or is called Triassic period. Ke baare mein the age of mammals. Prodotherians are commonly called as egg-laying mammals. Option A. Which of the following is a placental mammal? The typus, jo hai, wo egg-laying hai. Uh, placental, bata na jinu placenta ban banta aur placenta ek connection hota hai jo mother aur fetus ke darmiyan uh, mukti tarah ki uh, nutrients gases aur waste ke exchange mein involve hota hai bats hai uh, ye bee mammal hai aur kangaroo bee mammal hai lekin ye marsupial hai opossum bee marsupial hai so ye egg-laying hai aur ye dono marsupial hai so bat is a right answer jo placental mammal hai example of placental mammal is again placental mammal ki example puchi gayi hai kidna uh, again jo hai wo egg-laying hai opossum aur kangaroo fir se marsupial hai so aur dolphin jo hai wo Mammal, a log is a machine volta and actually mammal or presental mammal. So, this one is totally about the lecture of today. And uh, thank you very much. Uh, uh, inshallah, as soon as you uh, next lecture, you will be able to get the next lecture. You will be able to get the next lecture. You will be able to get the next lecture.